Welcome back to another edition of Flight Tying with Jim Ashura. Today I'm going to tie a Hemingway Synthetic Quill Sulfur. The hook that I have in a vise is a Maruto. This is a B31SSC size 14 dry fly hook. Fine wire. Very, very, very sharp. I'm going to use some orange thread. It looks a little more red on the film there than it, than it is. It's just orange thread, and this is a eight aught. Going to start the thread behind the eye, and I'm going to come back halfway, and then I'm going to bring that forward half of that. Go ahead and break that. Now. That's where I'm going to put the wing, and for the wing, I'm going to use snowshoe rabbit's foot, and this snowshoe, actually my older brother shot this about 50 years ago, and it was in the basement of uh, my dad's house for 50 years probably, and now I'm using it. I'm going to take a small patch of that rabbit there you can see that I love the snowshoe for sulfur wings especially I'll cut it off I'm gonna get rid of that that fuzz there now I have to transfer the snowshoe to my other my other hand get out make sure I get all of the loose stuff out. I'm going to measure that up to be about the length of the shank and we're going to tie that in right there. Put a couple good wraps on there, a couple more to secure it and then we're going to trim the rest of this at an angle right back to that tail. So that I move there a little bit. I'm going to get that a little bit closer Now I'm going to spin my thread counterclockwise and flatten that out. Just give it a, give it a good spin or two. And now I'm going to make nice tight wraps going back to the tail. We want to make sure that we get a nice level body with this synthetic quill. We don't want to have any bumps in there. There we go. And we're going to take that back to the end of the body there. Now I'm going to take the cream. I have, this is just a an Indian feather, a cream uh, barnyard hackle going to take those fibers I'm these are a little bit on the these down here a little bit on the webby side you can see all of that web in there I'm going to take them off the top here I'm going to grab a bunch align those tips up and then grab them all at the same time and then grab it by the tip of the feather and just pull them off Got a nice little paintbrush there. I'm going to go ahead and trim away the bottom. And I, I know how long they are, so I know about where to put those butt ends. And we're going to secure that. And there we have a nice tail there. Going to rotate that thread again. And clean up that body there with that nice flat thread. Bring it right to the back. 
Now I'm going to take the Hemingway synthetic tapered quills and these are the transparent orange. Take my bodkin needle and just pull a single one off. And what I did with this, what I did with this card is I took all of the outside part, the all of the outside part, the wasted uh, part off it. But I'm going to, I'm actually going to trim a little bit of this. And then I'm going to tie this in. I'm tying it. It has a sticky side, of course, and I'm tying it with the sticky side towards me. I'm going to flatten that thread again. Make sure we keep that nice level body. And bring that thread right up to the wing. And then we can wrap the quill. I'm going to take the quill. I'm going to turn this just a little bit so I can see it better. Once I get a couple of wraps on there, I'll turn it up so you can see it better. And you can see there's a darker spot on there. You don't want to touch the darker spots. You want to have that orange. So you're kind of making wider wraps on there. I'm going to bring that right up to the thread. And I'm going to tie that off there. Grab that. a couple in front just to lock it and then I'm going to trim off the excess and then you can use a remainder on a different fly I might use two make two size 14's out of the first strip and then use them on a bigger fly I'm going to hold the wing up and put several wraps right in front to stand it up Then I'm going to whip finish this off. And trim this thread off. Now I'm going to use a tan thread or a cream thread because actually the eyes or the head of the sulfur actually has is actually cream I got a little thing there I'm just gonna grab my lighter quick and give that a shot always make sure you're holding everything out of the way when you do that I'll take my cream thread now that around my finger there nice and get that and basically I'm making the I'm tying the head right now. And we can remove that excess. We got our nice cream head there. Now I'm going to take the hackle. I got my cream hackle. I'm going to give it that haircut. And with a when you're doing a parachute, you want to add a little bit extra to that haircut than you would if you were just wrapping a traditional there I have the haircut. Now when you tie this in, you want to try to tie it flat and then so it goes flat up the Tackle. And this will help to prevent you from having an upside down hackle. So we're going to tie this in. Once 
when I get to the wing, I'm going to tie it up the wing. I'm going to go four or five wraps up the wing. This is also stiffening the wing post when for when you wrap it. Then I'm going to go up. I'm going to come back down. And we're going to leave that right there. Now for the thorax, I'm going to use a little bit of uh, sulfur orange, super fine. Very small amount. Actually, this is probably too much, so I'm just going to take smaller amounts even. Just want to color this thread. Get a nice tight wrap there. We want that we do want that thorax to be a little bulkier, but we don't want it real bulky. Actually I'm gonna use the remainder of that going down. As long as you get a nice a really nice thin noodle. You'll be good. You got a nice thin noodle there. Now I'm going to wrap this. I'm going to come back slightly on the body. And then I'm going to kind of, if you could call it a figure eight, in front and then back, in front. And then I'm going to keep my thread up top. Now I'm going to take my hackle and I'm going to pull it down keeping the bottom I'm gonna hold this here and I kind of just bend that so the bottom up oh, maybe if I pull it to my side there we go I'm going to pull that down so that the concave side of the hackle is on the bottom and this helps you to start it going around the proper way Yeah, let me see if I got that. There we go. It tries to move on you. There we go. I'm going to turn it slightly so I can see it better. And now the hackle is going on in the proper way, going down like an umbrella instead of an inverted umbrella. Now I'm going to go on top of the hackle. Always you notice I'm putting the thread down so I don't trap any hackle fibers. And then I'm going to go give it one underneath, even two of them underneath. And then I'm going to remove the remainder of the hackle. Take your poke and snip, aka cuticle trimmer. Remove that. Now we're going to whip finish this. And I'm going to use my whip finish tool. Sometimes using your fingers is better. I'm going to put it sideways so that I can see. And you want to keep that wrap underneath. Two, three. And now before I pull it, I'm going to, you can see down the bottom here, I'm going to put my head cement on. And I'm going to put the head cement on the left side. These videos are, are all, you're looking at it. So I'm going to put it on the left side from my side. And I know that that left side is the side that's going to pull and you can see those bubbles and you can see them going up and I go back and forth once I get that bubble in there just to make sure that all of that uh, head cement stays inside we could go ahead and remove that thread Go ahead and pull my wing back a little bit. See if I got any. 
I may have got one fiber. Let's kind of push them up. And here we have a Hemingway Synthetic Quill Sulfur Parachute. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Please visit my sponsors. Leave comments, questions, suggestions. And most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.